In this video, pag-aaralan natin kung paano mag-solve ng rational equations. So, let's have example number 1. 5 over 2x minus 3 over 4x squared is equal to 2 over 3x. Ang una natin gagawin, step number 1, is to eliminate denominators by multiplying both sides by LCD. Ano yung LCD ni 2x, 4x squared, and 3x? Ang LCD nila ay 12x squared. Since yung 12x squared ang LCD, yun na yung multiply natin sa ating rational equation. The equation now will become 12x squared times yung given natin na 5 over 2x minus 3 over 4x squared equals 2 over 3x. So, ang gagawin natin, distribute natin si 12x squared each term on the left-hand side of the equation and then the right-hand side of the equation. So, remember na kapag nag-multiply tayo ng fraction, we multiply it numerator to numerator and then denominator to denominator. So, multiply muna natin si 12x squared sa first rational expression natin which is 5 over 2x magiging 12x squared times 5 all over 2x. Bakit mo naging 2x lang? Kasi si 12x squared, ang denominator niya is 1. So, ang multiply lang natin kay 2x is 1. Next, minus 12x squared times 3 over 4x squared. Again, 4x squared lang since the denominator of 12x squared is 1. That is now equal to, multiply natin, 2 times 12x squared over 3x. Ngayon, pwede na natin isimplify yung mga numerators. So, 12x squared times 5 is equal to 60x squared. And then, copy the denominator 2x minus 12x squared times 3, that is, 36x squared over 4x squared. That is now equal to 2 times 12x squared is equal to 24x squared all over 3x. So, dito pwede na natin isimplify each term. I-divide na natin sila. 60x squared divided by 2x. The answer is 30x na lang. Remember na kapag nag-divide tayo yung exponents sino subtract minus 36x squared over 4x squared the answer is 9 and then that is now equal to 24x squared divided by 3x the answer is 8x na lang okay now nawala na tayong denominator we're done with step number 1 we can now proceed to Step number 2, which is to solve for x. Ano nga yung last nating equation? Last equation natin is 30x minus 9 is equal to 8x. So, in solving for x, dapat magkakasama yung may value ng x sa wala. So, una nating tanggalin on the left-hand side of the equation is si negative 9. To remove negative 9 on the left-hand side of the equation, kailangan nating mag-add ng 9. Okay? So, negative 9 plus 9. This will give us the answer 0. Okay, so kung nag-add tayo ng 9 on the left-hand side of the equation, mag a tayo ng 9 sa right-hand side of the equation. So, okay na yung left-hand natin, naging 30x na lang. And then on the right-hand side naman, si 8x naman yung kailangan matanggal. So, para matanggal naman natin si 8x, so ang gagawin natin is subtract 8x on the right-hand side of the equation. So, 8x minus 8x, this will become 0. Magsasubtract rin tayo sa left-hand side of the equation. So, the equation now will become 30x minus 8x is equal to 9 na lang. And then, we can simplify 30x minus 8x. The answer is 22x. That is equal to 9. And then, to solve for the value of x, Divide both sides by 22. 
Okay, so ito magiging 22 divided by 22, that is 1. The value of x now is equal to 9 over 22. Thank <laughs> you.